a Rooster Teeth production. Hey, man. Shut up, dummy. I need a favor. Oh. Okay, yeah. I applied to like a bunch of jobs and I put you down as a reference. Oh, that's no problem, I'll hype you up. No, of course it's a problem, you idiot. I lied, I lied on all of them. And now they're about to call. And I need you to pretend to be my boss at all these former jobs. What? Don't worry, it's gonna be super easy. I'll coach you through it. Get the phone, get the phone. Uh, hello? Uh, Mr. Robasa, yes, yes. I do, yes, own Donner Boats. Armando Torres, yes, he worked here. Uh, for three years, and uh, he stopped an armed robbery. Yeah, on the ocean with nunchucks. Mm-hmm. Sorry, you applied to be a boat salesman? Nunchuck salesman. Hey, yeah. I'm so sorry. I'm getting another call. Can I put you on hold for just one second? <sighs> Hello. This is Barack Obama, the president of Los Angeles Savings and Loan. Uh-huh. Yes, we are fully insured by the government. And uh, we are missing $50,000 from our vault, yes. We have no idea who did it. What? Yeah, I'm applying to be on a heist crew. I, I'm so sorry, I'm gonna have to let you go. Yeah, no, I'm really busy here with the robbery and all. Thank you so much. What the fuck, man? You're doing amazing. Last one, the voice. Hello, this is the kidnapper. I have your daughter. I will kill her unless you drive across the 4th Street Bridge and toss a briefcase with one million dollars over the side. You have one hour. Oh my God! What is going on, man? Did you kidnap somebody? No! I didn't. Look, Griff was in the market for a new best friend, but we needed to make sure you were a ride or die, so we cooked up this little scheme. Wait, this was all fake? This was all a plan, and now I get to, what, be Griff's friend now? No, you move on to the second round of interviews, which reminds me, I'm just gonna put that there, yep, there we go. You have 30 seconds to get rid of that evidence. Whee! Only show that the New York Times once called to renew its subscription. It's the <laughs> RT Podcast. I am your host, Armando Torres, and joining me is the person who actually wrote that joke. It's Andrew Roses. Hey, it's me. Hello. And joining us also is my cans all messed up on the bottom. <laughs> Uh, for it's, us, uh, for your audio listeners, she just said my can is messed up on the bottom. She's talking about a physical can yeah, of water. Yeah. Uh, oh, the, I thought she was talking about her ass. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, I've got a can of uh, water of a certain brand, and it has exploded on the bottom in a way that uh -huh. I don't know how it happened. And they all do that Definitely. from that certain brand. Right? Only, if they, Only if they don't sponsor us. Only if they don't sponsor us. Yeah. If this brand... <laughs> <laughs> We're sending this episode <laughs> to Liquid Death or whoever it is. You might have just heard a beep right there. And, and then, Richard's Rainwater, and telling, we don't know. And telling us, telling them, if you don't sponsor our episode, we're going to tell everyone that your cans explode. Your faulty cans. <laughs> these, uh, these, are our these are our demands. <laughs> Thank you, Jesse Ventura. Yeah. <laughs> we have a great show for you today. Uh, we are playing a very trippy version of Who Am I? Um, we're giving you some good advice on how to tell people that they're gross. <laughs> and as always, why did we cut to Why did Greg? you see one? Wow. Wow. Also, why did you guys cut to me? That's mean. God damn. That's so mean. Catching fucking strays I over didn't there. Do anything. Jesus. I just got out of the shower. And of course, we'll be turning headlines into punchlines and always on yes baby but before we get to any of that um i just found out that they banned bird scooters in paris oh that makes sense oh yeah 
What about lime scooters though? Uh, I think all scooters. Oh, okay. I think I don't think it was just bird scooters oh. that got the kick. Do, okay, so is that a ban on like commercialized scooters, or can you have like a personal one? That I don't know. I mean, I went to um, <laughs> I went to Pali, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I had a fucking awful time because <laughs> the only way to get around is to bike, and yeah. I don't know if you can see it by looking at me, but the last time I rode a bike was when I learned how to ride one. Uh I would argue not just like a city, but maybe a country and continent not built for a man of your stature. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> I hit my head. First off, I just, I hit my head on so much shit. Yeah. Um, like secondly. Like Hammer and call me by your name. She's dunking, <laughs> dunking under everything. I had to do that. He's too tall for Italy and so are you. They're here. so small. They're such small people. The only time I felt at home was in the McDonald's. in Because <laughs> I feel like everything is built with our proportions yeah, they, in a McDonald's. They built the... They built those to scale no matter where you go. <laughs> yeah, 100%. Um, and so I, I didn't have a very good time when I was there. And a majority of uh, what I did to get around was biking through the city. Um, and then one night we got super drunk mm -hmm. and then uh, I took a bird scooter and it was the best because it felt like such a huge insult to all of the history <laughs> and all of the people that have, that have lived there that were important and cool. And you're just like, imagine literal history surrounding you mm -hmm. buildings that are centuries old yeah. uh and you're just riding through on a bird scooter going Wee! you yeah. are crop dusting puke along the streets of yeah. paris yeah. as you ride your bird scooter drunk down the Blah! well so that's just paris yeah, I, mean, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I also feel like when i think of europe as a whole i'm just like Every road is cobblestone. Mm -hmm. So I'm just imagining a bird scooter trying to just bump it over, the, yeah, over the cobblestone paths. That was the worst part about fucking biking. This part's not even a joke because the cobblestones are basically just me making it so that the bike seat is just punching you in your taint constantly. So you stand. Yeah, well, I don't know how to do that. Oh. I don't know how to ride a bike like a cool person. Oh. I never you can't, learned you can't that. Pedal part. with no hands. No. Just, no, you can't do that. No, instead the bike was doing a different kind of pegging. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, and I was sure riding them. I sure as hell was. Yeah, it was awful. It, it was just like getting punched in the G spot a hundred of times a second. Where's your G spot? Uh, right on my taint. Okay. Right yeah. in between the balls and the asshole. Um, <laughs> it says tilt. It's like a pinball machine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was fucking terrible but i uh i felt personally um i don't know betrayed i feel like this is a not popular opinion okay. i love bird scooters i love them so much um i used I, to why did you well, that's, that's that's okay that sounds like i used to before the accident there True. was an accident oh okay but the accident didn't keep me from liking bird scooters i just feel like uh I moved to a place where they were no longer convenient. So mm -hmm. then I got scared of them when I moved back to a place where they were convenient. Mm. But uh, I did have an accident uh, before before that didn't keep me. What from was your accident? Do you, uh, do you remember? We, I feel like we, have we talked about this before, before they took the governors off? They no. go real fast. No. So before they, they, so the scooters used to go like as fast as they could go. So like if you were going downhill, I think I caught 28 miles an hour one time, like going Ooh. downhill. So uh, those things would go fast. Uh. Uh, and I was on one one day. I was going to HEB. I was just trying to get some frozen peas and carrots because I wanted to make a shepherd's pie like you do. <laughs> and um, I was at a, it was a four way stop and I was going, I had the right of way, but a car was also coming. And uh, I went to hit the brakes, and there were no brakes. Mm -hmm. So what there was a bell. Uh, there was uh, no. The brakes just didn't work on the scooter. Oh, okay. Uh, fully. Uh, so <laughs> it said, "Please deposit five more dollars to access yeah. brakes." Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was I like, "I thought you did what I do whenever I try to brake on those things, where I go, ooh, and then it goes ding, ding, ding." Uh, I don't even think they had bells on them at the time, no. but it was, it was very early on. But uh, so I skid sk it to the side, uh -huh. and I hit the curb. Uh, and I don't, you know, uh, Mueller, I lived in Mueller at the time. Mm -hmm. It's always under construction. Correct. So I fully hit a curb, went over the handlebars and like skidded across like a gravel pit. Oh. And I had like, you see the, like that dark mark? Oh, yeah. Is where I had Shit. gravel embedded in my arm for a week. Oh, oh my, my God. And then I had like Christ. road rash all down the side of my body. And then I had that dark mark is also where some rocks got put in my hands. Oh, uh, yeah. 
but that didn't keep me from scooting and it also didn't keep me from finishing my trip to heb no <laughs> so i just went to heb uh fully just bloody because then i was like well i gotta clean this out so i just like went to the back i bought i got a bunch of stuff off the shelf went to the bathroom cleaned myself up uh went to go pay for it <laughs> fucking like harrison ford in the fugitive yeah basically <laughs> uh i went to go pay for it and i'm in line with like my frozen peas and all of the medical supplies that I use. And uh, I get a tap on the shoulder, and it's Tyler Co. who used to work here. And he was like, oh, okay, what the fuck? And I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, and I was like, <laughs> what? And I looked down, and there's just a huge streak of red across my front. And I was like, oh, no, 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 that's not the blood. That's from where they uh, painted on the ground, like the stuff, you know, when the construction, they just like paint oh, random numbers on the ground. Yeah. I skidded over that so hard that it came off on my white shirt and it just looked like I had a huge blood stain, but the, the blood was here. So it was, it was fine. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And I lived to scoot another day. Yeah, uh, that's not what prevented no, you from No, that didn't keep me from anymore. stopping at all. No, God, no. I, I love the early era of the scooters. Um, first of all you were talking about a speed governor which you don't need on any scooter i do because my body is the speed governor See, it would be the opposite no you think so but it doesn't work that way every time i hop on a scooter andrew will tell you because we took a bunch of them during rtx yeah that's right uh that scooting with me is looking back and what like being like why is yours going three <laughs> miles an hour it the, says fully charged the battery must be dead or something it must be an air no it's me i'm holding it back Have you tried one of the, the little like rocket bikes i have tried those it's a very similar thing ah. anything that i any vehicle i choose to ride is much like a, a a romantic partner i have in that i will hold you down and hold you back so that you cannot <laughs> express your full potential, potential. Uh, and it's not a thing i do on purpose it's uh -huh. just a thing i do with being shitty apparently oh i stepped onto this boot bird scooter and i swear to god it went gulp <laughs> <laughs> i've done that a bunch of times we've you guys have seen me break furniture before oh yeah, yeah we've gone yeah. through a lot of these chairs yeah and not all of them are my fault some of them are just the chair being shitty yeah but i will cop to about half of them <laughs> <laughs> which is a number bigger than you should <laughs> yeah. have uh when the bird scooters first came out at least when they came out in san diego um san diego people had a, a pretty a pretty differing opinion on them. Some people uh, would collect them and then throw them into the ocean. And that was like a huge part of our, uh, of San Diego d d time when the bird scooters came was just yeah. like, okay, well, these things keep washing up in the ocean. That's the most uh, Boston thing I've ever heard. Yeah. <laughs> It's a real that's fucking so Boston move. bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, that's we. Uh, you can throw things in the ocean and start a country, or yeah. you can get bird scooters out of your city. Those are the two <laughs> things you can accomplish. That's a... um, the other <laughs> half of them were the other side of the Boston movement, where we would um, we would take the bird scooters and break them open and basically disconnect the wires for their GPS tracking uh -huh. and a bunch of other stuff uh have you ever have you ever been to an arcade where they like opened up the machine so that you can just flick yeah. the thing and now you can play for free yeah, yeah, yeah we yeah. basically do that with a bird scooter so you could break it open yeah. and then just ride it whenever you want and then it just became a normal scooter that yeah. you could just have we did that all the time until they i think started building their own scooters or modifying them in a way where you can do that you couldn't anymore. do that anymore yeah but i remember i had a a bird scooter that uh i owned in the gas lamp district of san diego <laughs> and i also i didn't take it home or anything because i couldn't do that yeah so what i would do is i just bought a bike lock and i would just lock it up to a thing um and then still with the full branding on it oh yeah 100 percent. also just wires dragging down by the way because we didn't i didn't know <laughs> oh, yeah yeah i didn't know what part to cut off it looked like a fully kit bashed hacked like yeah. steampunk fucking bird scooter yeah wires it looked trailing like, out the back it looked like i picked up the bird scooter that kayla wiped out on <laughs> and just started riding it again we're we're opposite sides of the same coin in that that's how you treated the scooters and then what i did to get free rides was i signed up for the charging program mm -hmm. so what i would do is i would get a scooter and i'd ride it here to work and then i'd plug it up at work charge it all day get paid for that and then just ride that one back home and then pick up another one when I got home, charge that one overnight, and then rinse and repeat. And that pretty much, after a while, pays for itself. 
That's really smart. That's yeah. brilliant. I, you know what's really funny? The first time I wrote, ever rode a bird scooter was with you at RTX this year, Amanda. Really? That is the first time I've ever been on one of those. Yeah. Was it? Why did? You, what was your hesitation to do it? I I think around the time that I, like they were becoming popular, um, I lived at the time like too far away for bird scooters yeah. to be like feasible for me. Plus. Everyone I know, it was like people every every week. Another person I know was like, "Well, broke my ankle," or "Well, I have a spiral fracture in my fucking rate, like my fucking wrist." Because <laughs> yeah, yeah, once a week, one of my friends was like, "Well, I totally ate out. shit like downtown or going somewhere or like going to H E B or something," and so it was just like. I don't know, like one, I live too far away. Two, I'm don't trust myself enough that like I know my friends are like, you know, dropping like flies. Your problem is that your friends are all your age, which is like 50, 60. <laughs> and... This is true. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, they were going to cash their social security checks and yeah, wiping yeah, yeah. out. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, my friends were also crashing out, but they were like in their twenties and early thirties, so they're like, oh, oh, oh that kind of hurt. Yeah, I was like Except 22 for the ones... when I wiped out. Yeah, so. yeah. yeah. a little beer will put out that fire glug, glug, yeah. Glug, yeah. except for the people that were in the early 30s where they would go oh that really hurt and then inside they'd be like fuck that really hurt <laughs> that really fucking hurt i shouldn't Just, have doing that anymore. i love like being in your early 30s wiping out me oh that really hurt well that's gonna be a limp in my 60s <laughs> like, it's like that's gonna that's gonna do long lasting damage I, I can't wait to can't wait to sow what i reap now this is gonna, reap I, what I oh my fucking God. loved bird scooters when i lived in san diego because uh they're free for you they're free they're, well, yeah, they were free, but also when we were paying for them, I just love them. Even here, I love them. They're so fun to just get on a scooter and fucking tool around. Yeah, to yeah. break the seal again one day. Uh, and do a bird and do scooter. Another scoot, yeah. I think we should be bird scooting all the time. I haven't done it since the pandemic. Actually, the, when I knew that the pan that uh, lockdown was a uh, was winding down, was I was sitting on my porch and I saw like two drunk men scoot by me, and I was like, nature's healing. Yeah, it's. Uh, <laughs> you both have met my partner before, yeah. right? Yes. Uh, one of the first dates we ever had, we went to a bar in downtown Los Angeles, and at the time, I also lived in downtown Los Angeles. Um, and I was nervous and, uh, we went to, we like got to the bar and the, the bouncer goes, uh, all right, I'm going to need to see both of your IDs because apparently I look under 21. I've never looked at myself and been like, that's a child. I feel like you get carded because of the, your, the company you keep more than anything. That is slanderous i think what do you mean <laughs> that sounded because what you said was i think you get carded because you hang out with children no i feel like everyone just looks like a child next to you ah uh, okay like i feel enough. like if you walk up they're like oh he's here to take my shift <laughs> i have i have a i have a serious problem in that if i sit too close to any door at a bar people will hand me yeah. their ids and then you go five dollar cover <laughs> yeah and you can get away with that about seven times and then you gotta get the fuck out yeah uh <laughs> stay tuned for our next cold open which i feel like might be that exact sketch of just, you just trying to scam your way i've done okay <laughs> The worst thing that I've ever done in that regard is that uh, this guy goes, uh, my girl's from out of state. She doesn't have her ID. And I just said 20 bucks and he gave me 20 bucks. And then we left the bar and we just went to a different bar. Um, <laughs> that was also in San Diego. <laughs> San Diego's a lawless place. It sounds Man, like it. Truly it's, the Wild West out there. It's fucking awesome. <laughs> San Diego is just like, it's where you go to become a full-time alcoholic. Oh, sick. I thought that was here. No, this is what I would call the minor leagues. Really? Because they're like, th here's the thing. This is where you go when you're like in your 20s yeah. and you're like in college and you're like learning how to drink. <laughs> San Diego is not a fun alcoholic place. Everyone is just going, yeah, I'm going to get wet brain and then I'm going to die. <laughs> See, this is a fun alcoholic place. Mm -hmm. if, if you survive San Diego alcoholism, mm -hmm. where you go is Alcoholics Valhalla, which is Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Yes. <laughs> where, like, <laughs> capital HF high functioning alcoholics. Oh, these are people, yeah. these are career boozers. Those these are, are those fuckers that we see on that screen all day. Yeah, these are people who, who like, <laughs> daily drink a fifth of vodka. Like, daily. 100%. At, at, at least. Like, and... They're all having the best time. 
yeah. but they're all completely wasted. There, Costa there, Dale, there, let's are, go. there are places in San Diego that have deals that are like uh, dollar shot night or something, and you hear that and you go, "Oh shit! I bet that place is gonna be banging with a bunch of like." like cool sexy guys. young yeah. people and then you get there and it is the saddest fucking people you've ever seen all fighting for a turn over the slot machine that they have uh, in the there uh, that i don't even think is legal it's my turn to play nudie photo hunt <laughs> get out get away uh, i don't know why I, I need to stop doing that doing southern accent for drunk idiot really um, quick uh that was fort lauderdale accent sure yeah you okay. reminded me of something mm -hmm. um which was i saw this this uh <laughs> <laughs> I saw this this news article from Florida, believe it or not. Mm. Uh, two men scammed Uber Eats out of more than one million dollars. What? <laughs> yeah. Salute. Two men uh, were arrested this week oh. for uh, scamming oh. Uber Eats out of more than one million dollars in deliveries. Uh, basically, what they would do um, is that there's two of them. One of them would uh, become an Uber Eats driver, and then one of them would act as the customer, and they would uh, place an order for pickup under a fake name and accept them as the delivery driver. The Uber driver would uh, Uber would then provide him with a pre-authorized and pre-loaded credit card to make purchases where he could make up to uh, $700 in a single order. Then as the customer, uh, one of them would cancel the order and then proceed to purchase a gift card with the... Uh, with the refund that uber was trying to give them so God. they would essentially get fourteen hundred dollars every time they did this and they did it so often that they got they racked up a million dollars see that is an instance where that is so that is so both ingenious and pains like that is so tedious and yeah. so genius and the fact that it went on so long that they were it was you only get fourteen hundred dollars a transaction and they racked up a million dollars i'm sorry uber eats charge it to the game charge you got to fucking the play. Yeah, they got, they got, got you got fucking got you that got, is got. that is a hundred percent on you i am up i am team these guys should get to keep the money yeah no charges that should hundred percent that should have been like a ten thousand dollar bit maximum before they caught on yeah, yeah. like I, I'm learning how much of a scumbag I am because I read that and my first thought was like, I'm okay with it be only because not a single other customer was harmed. Yeah, you know no I mean? person was harmed. Yeah. yeah, just some VC funder. <laughs> yeah. so like, 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 you, like you said, no person was harmed. <laughs> yeah. I, I feel bad because like back in the day, there used to be this thing where uh, we would call it... <laughs> We would call it the DoorDash, the DoorDash, uh, oh, fuck. Door Somebody had a ditch. DoorDash and ditch. Yeah. Door and dash or dine, something. Dine and DoorDash. Do dine and DoorDash. Basically, it was whenever you were fucking fed up and finally done with DoorDash, you would uh, just go and pick up orders and then cancel you just cancel you just go i can't do it and then it would time you out for about 20 minutes this was also like early doordash and specifically early postmates yeah. back in the day uh back when postmates would straight up again give you a fucking credit yeah. card they, i think they still do okay uh, that's awesome Insane. you shouldn't my, do that yeah, as evidenced by these two guys favorite does that too i saw my favorite card oh my god and, oh that's the worst one though because you just go to heb uh, grocery pickup and you say hey I'm a favorite driver and they just give you a card and you don't sign anything or it, they just give it to you yeah yeah it's kind of fucked up that's what anyway that's what we used to do is we used to just uh, you would pick up the big orders and then that's when you'd be like I'm done and then you would quit and then you would just take those orders and you just have big orders or and this is again not very good advice but there's a Chipotle in downtown Los <laughs> Angeles that has a giant wall of DoorDash order pickups uh -huh. that they do not monitor at all and oh. frequently <laughs> poor comedians have been known to just walk in there because we the the outfit of a poor comedian and a doordash driver are the one in the same very similar they, i mean because well, they're both me yes i mean the and frequently are the same person it's yeah. not it's not even like oh it's an overlap no. of look no it's the same it's person. the same oh guy. yeah absolutely and so there was a lot of people that just walk right in there and just fucking boop those are the times where like those i feel bad for both the driver who <laughs> had to show up and be like, where's the fucking Fuck. order? And the customer who's just like going to be mad at the driver. Yeah. yeah. 
That um, is not a victimless crime. No. Yeah. That sucks. Yeah, that and that's sucks. that's the kind of stuff that I feel bad about. Stealing a fucking scooter mm -hmm. from Lime Scooter, I don't feel <laughs> shit about no, it. No, that didn't hurt anyone. These guys scamming Uber Eats for a million dollars. No one's hurt. That fucking rocks. Heroes. That rules. <laughs> I think it's awesome. I think they should be let out. <laughs> free, 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 free the Uber too. <laughs> <laughs> free, the, uh, free the eats boys I would, free the eats boys i would go one step further and say that not only should they be set free but uber should hire them as their new heads of security exactly oh and fucking uh fucking uh abnail it like catch yeah. me if you can like hire them to be like the fraud specialist exactly yeah. exactly fucking i don't know they white, be white hatting and, for and yeah, why should be, I'm yeah. sorry, what was that? They should be praised. They should be praised. They should be praised. Okay. I don't know why. I thought you said they should be priests. I also heard that. Okay. You're not crazy. Right. Yeah. They, they should, should be, be priests. They should be priests. Like, oh, no. right. Okay. <laughs> well, two Florida men scam the church out of two million dollars. Also a victimless they, crime. <laughs> I mean, they fed the five thousand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they turned one Uber Eats account into five thousand uh, and fed the five thousand. Yeah, exactly. Well, speaking of scumbags, we're three of them, and we're about to play a very scummy version of our favorite game called Who Am I? And I'm glad that you're here to join us. Let's check it out. Who am I? Welcome to everybody's fourth favorite game, Who Am I? <laughs> I am sitting here with my two very best friends, Andrew Rosas. Hello. And Griff Milton. Howdy. And we're going to be playing a guessing game where we'll each have a card uh, taped to the top of our heads. Mm -hmm. And we'll go around asking each other questions, mm. trying desperately to figure out who we are. And this week, our theme is drugs Ooh. Yeah. We're mature. according to uh our friends and um human resources we are the most drug friendly group within the company <laughs> so we thought that it would be a very fitting uh uh, uh topic to for us to tackle and then uh take behind the scenes so on the count of three we are going uh to lift these cards up onto our heads you okay. guys ready uh, let's do it yeah How's that? How's that looking? That's good. That's good. Yeah, very straight. All right. Very good. Okay. Very yeah. good. Very nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can I go first? Uh, all right. Yeah. Uh, uh, Griff, kick us off. Molly. <laughs> <laughs> no, why would that be your first choice? Well, it usually is. <laughs> Griff has had a fucking drop of serotonin or dopamine in your body since 2012. No. You see those videos of like those hydraulic presses like squeezing pennies into yeah. one thing? That's her body trying to get dopamine and serotonin out of the fucking pituitary gland. To it's be clinical. fair, my entire life has felt like a fucking press pressing my body down. Same. Uh, the oppressiveness of life. Andrew? Would our group of friends do me to like to feel? I'll just, I'll just say, would my group of friends do me? Um, would my friends do me? <laughs> I would say it depends on which group of friends. If it's us, yes. If it's uh, maybe some of your other dorkier friends, maybe mm, not. Maybe not. Oh, okay. Interesting. Yeah. My dorkier friends. And also, I, mean, I would... I gotta text my church group. <laughs> <laughs> they I might. Would, I would say, and this might be giving you a little bit too much, I would say that yours is a kind of drug where maybe a guy would do it, <laughs> and he would be maybe the one that you don't want to hang out with oh. the most. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. 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 Right. Okay. Uh, ooh. Question. Question. Am I... Huh. A question I ask all my groups of friends mm. eventually: Am I a downer? No, no, not okay. usually. No, not, not usually. usually. No. no, most of most most of the time, no. Okay, I would yeah. say ninety percent of the time. Ninety percent no. of the time, no. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Um, 
<laughs> not to get too topical would i be stuck in the mud at burning man right now because <laughs> somebody cause somebody dropped me out of a backpack i think i think a lack of having you is a necessary part of going to burning man uh, <laughs> i don't think you're allowed uh, within the gates oosh, okay <laughs> What drug isn't allowed at Burning Man? Okay. I think I think it should be. I think, by the way, I think it should be. I, uh, sure. They should probably start hiding it in the sandwiches that they hand out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but no, I, I I don't think that you would be um, at the top of the list of okay. Burning Man drugs. Okay. No. Yeah, yeah. You're not gonna meet somebody in the world's grossest porta potty to like <laughs> get some of you. Okay. Um, okay, so a group of our <laughs> non-dorky friends might do me. Weirdly enough, you on the other hand, you might end up in a dirty port of body <laughs> looking for some. Okay. Um, okay. Who? Um, do I? Can I buy? Can I get a prescription for me? Um. No. 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 Okay. No. I can't. I can't say, "Hey doc, I'm uh I need to go to Hey doc, I'm stuck in a porta potty at, <laughs> at Burning Man. Please you, <laughs> write me a script." You can't get a script, but you do have to know a very specific person to get it. Probably also somebody that calls themselves a doctor. Yeah. I would say. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. For sure. Sure, sure, sure. Okay, uh, okay, okay. Okay, for my question. Has a United States president ever admitted to trying me in college? <laughs> um, no. No. Okay. No. 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 So I'm not marijuana. No. I'm no. not cocaine. No. And I'm not writing weird bisexual poems to try to get you're not Barack woke Obama. Pussy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which, you know, by the way, if you don't know, Barack Obama wrote weirdly bisexual poems in high school or college. college, college? college? To get yeah, girls to, to get that bisexual. Yeah, to get that they them pussy. Mm, yeah, exactly. Maybe. He was ahead of his time. Man. I've yeah. never related to Barack Obama more. <laughs> yeah, I've never related less. Um, <laughs> let me see. Okay, so I'm not Molly. Which mm -hmm. okay. Um, <laughs> that little face of so I'm not Molly. Okay, okay. Then what's the I, fucking yeah, point? Uh, yeah. I'm not I'm not at Burning Man, which is insane. Yeah. Um, no, you're not uh, torrential rains ruining <laughs> uh, a weekend for a bunch of rich yuppies. <laughs> if a loved one was on me, mm -hmm. would you be disappointed? Like actually disappointed? Um, very interesting. I think that's a very interesting question. I think. It depends on which side of the family, because if it was my white family, I think it'd be pretty par for the course. Sure. Uh, if it was my Mexican family, I think they'd be pretty disappointed in taking me to church. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'd okay. say that. I'd say that's that, that's probably accurate. So I was I'm gonna say not crack cocaine. Uh, it, well, well, uh, no. Um, yeah, no. I, 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 I don't want to give you any more information. I think that's a good. Okay. Yeah. A good... So black tar and crack are out. Again, I don't think that's true, because I want to remind <laughs> you that I specified the white side no, of my that's family. Fair. <laughs> yeah. Doing me in in huge numbers. Oh uh, God, Andrew. That's just Milwaukee. Will doing will doing me give you great business ideas? I, uh, would, I think, would, would I be so excited about a venture? Honestly, I think doing you might make you never want to work again. Yeah. I think doing you would make you want to burn down the business world. Yeah. Okay, go Tyler Durden on this shit? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay, interesting. In okay. a lot of ways, yeah. <laughs> uh <laughs> All right. Are there bisexual? I'm gonna go have gay sex. Okay, cool, yeah. cool, cool. Uh, don't clip that. No, uh, actually, can we only release that, please? Yeah, 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 yeah. Clip that and send it to my email directly. Wow, the RT podcast was fucking weird today. It was, it was just a two, two second, second clip, clip of Andrew saying, "I'm gonna Andrew have gay sex." Gay sex. And and then... We need to get it clean. I'm gonna have gay sex. <laughs> there we go. That's actually the poem that Barack. <laughs> Trying to be arty in the most artless way. <laughs> Roses are red, violets are blue. I'm All bisexual. His... How about you, girl? What's she doing? What you All... doing later? That's why his drone strikes are getting inclusive. <laughs> yeah. Shut the fuck up. Okay. Are there multiple ways to intake me? Yes. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ingest. Yeah. yeah. Um, 
All right. Interesting. Interesting. At least interesting. two. Yeah. There's two. There's, there's like two proper ways. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Was I invented by the Sacklers? Did the Sackler family make me and decimate the entire uh, Pennsylvania community? <laughs> um, Did I ruin Pennsylvania and or West Virginia? No. No? I'm looking up what drugs they made because I do not know. The Sacklers? Uh, oh, it's uh, opi- it's uh, oh, Oxy. It's Oxy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oxy Cotton. Mm. And Oxy. Uh, mostly Oxycontin. Yeah. And the but they also made no. The answer is no. Okay. No. What the fuck? Okay. If I hold on, oxycontin was made by one family. Yeah, that's lit. the Sackler family. That's dope. Yeah, they're bad. We they destroyed we... a whole generation. <laughs> yeah, of people. they did. We started making oxycontin in our backyard. <laughs> it's so, just, it's family that's operation. Basically, how they marketed it, they yeah. were like, "No, ours is good because you only take it once, and then you don't get addicted. Oh, because no. it lasts for twelve hours. No, 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 no. Yeah. no. I've never known anyone who's taken oxycontin no, no, no. once. No, they were like, "You take it once for twelve hours, so you're not popping pills all day." And then they were like. Yeah. Pop these pills all day. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Now, you tr- truly the truly the Pringles of yeah. uh once you pop, you cannot stop. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I have uh, if I did me, I'd not want to work anymore. Yeah. 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 Do you think I, Andrew Rosas, have ever done this drug? No. No. Okay. No, but also I want to be clear. My idea of you, Andrew Rosas, is a fucking nerd ass dork. But, 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 but I am. Oh wait, shut. Okay. <laughs> so I don't. I don't know that almost any drug that could have been up there on your forehead. That's true. Yeah. That's true. okay. Okay. Uh, I've already asked my question, but I was going to rephrase. I mean, but you, can sure, you can rephrase it. it. Okay. Yeah. Would you? Want to see me, Andrew Rosas, on this drug? This is see, you've wasted your question again because I also want to see you on every drug. Sure, yeah, yeah. That's... I have been slowly at yeah, Tyler over there, producer, <laughs> thumbs up giving a producer. huge thumbs up. Can we get that that special sandwich I uh, I, made, <laughs> I made for Andrew before this? Unrelated, by Unre- the way. yeah, unrelated. Um, okay, yeah, that could uh, again a bad question, but a fun question because I wanted to see. I think it reaction. tells you a little bit though because yeah. you know that cause I'm being I'm being a hundred percent genuine. I would want to see you on it, and it wouldn't. It's not because I want to see you ruin your life. Correct. So okay. that's the helpful yes. information. Okay, that's the helpful that information get. there. Yeah, yeah. Because there's uh, someone to be like, oh, "Do you want to see me on this?" And it's like, "Yes, but you know, like such a controlled environment because I don't want to see you die." You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, I think I know what it might be, but okay. I'm gonna ask. Uh, can you overdose and die on me? Yeah, I mean that's like anything though. True, that is that's, true. That's, I mean, you don't hear about that happening. Yes. People. Okay. Very, very oh. good caveat. You don't, you don't hear, hear about that you happening. You could, but it. Yeah, you could, but you don't hear about it. it does happening. like it's not a thing. Fuck. All right. Well, that kind of fucked me up. Yeah, it, uh, it ruins your life in other ways. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Am I Xanax? No. 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 What? No. Okay. 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 But oh but that again, that's like who who wouldn't want to be seen? Okay. Um, yeah, I've been putting bath salts in every meal okay. that I've ever made. Hell for yeah. You. Wait, is that what the table grinder salt is on the t- Yes. In the in office? Office? Oh my god, yeah. I put that on my salad. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. Well, to be fair, you were eating face salad in <laughs> Florida. So <laughs> Man, remember when those stories were coming out like every oh, three yeah. months oh, of yeah. just people like eating face? Now it's just yeah. floating all over doses by cops touching it. Yeah, <laughs> something that you'd have <laughs> something that you'd have to dump like seven gallons of on yourself yeah. and like let dry no, for no, it no. to give you the yeah. yeah 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 and it definitely has that one reaction where your heart rate speeds up really fast which is definitely what it does yeah, yeah definitely yeah, what it yeah. does it like cause, yeah it's it's definitely not a downer that actually <laughs> suppresses your breathing and yeah it's, anyway. I feel like you guys are saying the cops are doing cocaine no I'm just is saying that, what you guys are that saying? maybe they're little babies that touch it and then they have a panic attack <laughs> they have a panic attack because it's actually a downer and would actually like make you like it acts more like heroin than it does like speed or cocaine. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. But so, they're dork ass losers, so they don't know that. So, okay. Ooh. Would would having me would having me on me land me in jail? Like would I serve would I do time for having if, if a cop patted me down and was like, uh, what's this? Um would, um, would, uh I think uh put your hands behind your back. I I'm don't... trying to I don't think they would know what it was. I don't think they would know what it is. I I don't think they'd be able to visually identify it. Let's just say that you have the ultimate. 
oh, it's just water in a water bottle, not vodka as yeah. drug possible. Wild. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, you're like, this is my peace tea. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, this yeah, is my yeah. Arizona. It's 99 cents. Yeah. yeah. You could just get away with it. Yeah. That. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think, okay. I think I have an idea of what this is, but. Mm, okay. <laughs> Interesting. Continue. Uh, that's a good. It's good information. They wouldn't um, know what it is. They couldn't be like. <sighs> this is going to be a pointed question. Sure. I threw feel you like. off last time. Uh, am I big in the Houston rap scene? <laughs> am I a big deal? <laughs> Would you see me hanging out at H Town in um, two double up styrofoam cups? Yeah. W would you say that I'm still tipping? <laughs> would, you <say? laughs> would, you, would you say you're I'm double you, cup love? Would you take me and then uh, put a song in halftime and make it double repeat itself a couple times and be like, this is fucking rock, so I fucking love this music. Yeah. Unfortunately, no. Ah, nah, damn. No, 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 no. Damn. I just watched a video, by the way, uh, apropos of nothing, of uh, the Double XL freshman freestyle list. Yeah. Which, if you're unfamiliar out there, Double XL is a magazine, um, which is like a, a website on paper. Um, <laughs> that that uh, every year they have a bunch of rappers come out, and I had not seen uh, Twenty One Savages freshman, freshman freestyle. He comes up with double cup styrofoam, clearly tipping, fucking like leaned over, uh, mm. and that's awesome. They just yeah. let him do that. It's tea time. At no point, yeah, it's true. He's a fucking Brit. <laughs> it's tea time. Oh right, <laughs> roll, pink, roll pinkies out uh, on on oh, your styrofoam Lord. cup. He got deported. Twenty One Savage got deported because it turns out he's actually a british citizen that had been moved here when he was a baby yeah, he just lived grew in up in atlanta life. that yeah. is fucking funny if i hear my mate 21 savage tell it you're a fanny <laughs> <laughs> okay so no. that's, that's why he says pussy so much he's, he's just trying to convince us that he wouldn't say fanny that's funny that's fuck <laughs> You got me. Um, okay, I'm not Molly, and I'm not Xanax, and Mondo's white side of the family would be okay doing me, but oh, yeah. not his Mexican side. Mm -hmm. And so did it take you to church? Oh, okay. No, no, no. Okay. I know what it is. Mm. I know what it is. Am, am, am I Lexapro? Ugh. No, no, no. But I may have made it too uber specific. Am I antidepressant? Yes. yes. But so now you can either name all of the antidepressants or am I will be true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. It's not even an SSRI. <laughs> we went over this. I don't know if I uh, mentioned this before, but we have started writing the cards for each other. Yeah. So what we did was we each wrote one card targeted at the other person and passed it to our left. Clockwise, yeah. um, and that was for you. I'm on the maximum legal dosage <laughs> of this. Yeah, you're taking so much Wellbutrin, you're basically on lean right now. <laughs> yeah, actually, it's an upper. Oh, yeah. interesting. Andrew, okay. we have a hail mary. Yeah, one shot. One shot. There. Okay, this is everything you've ever wanted. Here we go. I'm looking at the. I'm looking at the camera. Am I ayahuasca? Holy yes! shit! Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Curry. This fucking sucks. Speaking of curry, your turn. Oh, that's racist. Um, okay. Guess who? I'm not. You can't overdose on me. People usually don't. Okay. Um, there's more than one way to ingest me. Mm -hmm. Would you like to know how you're taken? Uh, no. Well, because I feel like this is my last guess. I can't ask a question. I got a guess. Um, I feel like we should give you one more guess so you can answer. Fine. And I feel like, I feel like the sister of the last one, if you need clarification on something we've already said. Sure, sure. What, how, how is it that I'm ingested? Orally and by injection. A lot of time. I will, I will clarify it. A lot of times by injection. Yeah, mostly injection. People don't overdose on me. More than one ways to take me. Probably injection. I feel like... Am I steroids? Yes. Holy yeah. shit! <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah! Holy shit! 
fuck? Three way finisher. This is the first time that's happened. That's Holy not true. smokes. It, it happened the first time, Did too. It? Holy shit. That's so funny. This is the second time this has happened. This is such a fucking Hail Mary because I'm thinking, like, okay, so you can overdose on it. There's multiple ways to ingest it. Um, it's not like but a not fun, fun party drug. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm banking off of is because, like, I was thinking, I was thinking, like, my fucking what would you call it like dark horse pick yeah was like maybe it's hashish but i don't think that's yeah. true because of the overdose thing yeah. of it like it being yeah. dangerous if it's like honestly thinking about i mean it's it, i'm it's awesome that you guessed it because if you do put like those kind of triangulation clues around it, it's like you mostly inject it but it's not a, something you like it's not fun it's not fun, it's not fun. But people don't die people and people don't overdose on yeah. it it's like what are like yeah. steroids. What, it's steroids <laughs> yeah because yeah, 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 it's yeah. not heroin it's no. not it's not yeah yeah because everything else you inject you well, fucking kills, kills you. you kills you almost <laughs> immediately so for, for this one the thing that like tripped me up was i was like i had an inclination and then i was like okay maybe it's not like ayahuasca or like you know ceremonial tea or something <laughs> because I was like, oh, this is what venture capitalist bros do to like basically invent new ways to uh, fuck poor people yeah. Yeah. as they go to the desert and do this. And they go, okay, wait a minute. What if people just rented like coffins to sleep in I, instead of homes? I disagree. Like, I think that those same people do that, but instead of ayahuasca, DMT. Yeah, they DMT. Do, yeah, that's what uh, they're doing. That, that's what they're doing. DMT yeah. will make you live a thousand times over, but it just the, it's your same <laughs> shitty life. Where you're like not learning anything or becoming a better person. Yeah. Okay. Ayahuasca, you take that shit. By the way, it's just a cactus. Yeah, it's just a cactus. That's, that's why, why you were like, if I got pulled over. Yeah. yeah you just be like, no, it's a cactus. Yeah. You'd have to be a very... I'm a botanist. <laughs> sir. Yeah, yeah. I'm a botanist police officer. <laughs> <laughs> that's the only way that I'm you a get caught. I'm a botanist. You. Six foot tall jackrabbit. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, oh God, I cannot believe that worked. Wow. Uh, fucking Hail Mary. Amazing. Holy shit. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, and uh, I guess, yeah, you're safe to take all of these. So just do that. <laughs> Have yourself a really fucking uh, aggressively learned and also happy rest of your week <laughs> and now it's time to be able to afford these drugs by hearing a little bit from our sponsors yeah this episode of the rooster teeth podcast is sponsored by better help i am a constant stay up and think about everything bad that you've ever done guy i mean it happens to all of us right you're lying in bed you're trying to get some sleep and then suddenly your brain turns into a movie theater showing every awkward interaction that you have ever had. And now it's four in the morning. I'm still awake. And now I'm stressing about that. It is a vicious, vicious cycle that has led to many, many, many nights left tired and sleepless and anxious and just generally upset. But it turns out one great way to make those racing thoughts go away is to talk them through. And therapy gives you a place to do just that so you can get out of your negative thought cycles and find some mental and emotional peace. It can also be a great tool for learning positive coping skills and empowering you to be the best version of yourself. And if you're thinking of giving therapy a try, BetterHelp is a great option that is convenient, flexible, and entirely online. All you got to do is fill out a brief questionnaire and get matched with a licensed therapist, one that you can easily switch at any time for no additional charge. So get a break from your thoughts with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com rooster today to get 10% off your first month. That is BetterHelp.com slash rooster. Thank you for listening to this episode of the RT Podcast. If you like this show and the other shows that Rooster Teeth makes, the best way to support us is by becoming a first member, all right? Whether you're watching this on YouTube or uh, uh, what do you call it, a podcast listening app, not even sure what that would be, uh, you can listen to the episodes there and we get some revenue from the ads that you're listening to, but that's not the best way to support us. The best way to support us is by becoming a first member. Let me break down some numbers for 
for you, math style for you, dork ass. If you become a first member, that is like watching 600 videos a month or 6,000 videos a year. It is so much easier to support us this way so that we can keep making the wonderful shows that you like watching. And also you get some really fun benefits too. So become a first member. It is the best way to support us. That's not even a 60 second ad read. I'm going to give you back the rest of your time and uh, think about it during this time. Become a first member. Thank you so much. Goodbye. It's time for another RT Cares, the segment where we take your questions and turn them into extremely dumb answers. And today we've got something extremely interpersonal. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. I have a new coworker who seems like a pretty decent guy, but holy hell does he smell terrible. Ugh. Every day he comes in with that distinct <laughs> haven't showered in a while smell, and it just gets worse throughout the week until it starts again on Monday. How can I politely get him to start showering and maybe using some deodorant? My God. Uh, God. Well, my first piece of advice would always to be to submit it to RT Cares so that... <laughs> You can look your coworker in the eye, Andrew, and tell them that maybe they should start showering. Oh more. no! <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, this is a hard one because the, I don't think I ever want to tell anyone anything of, like this. Ever. No, there. This is such a hard thing because it's like it's one of those if you like the person, if you respect the person, if you want to like continue like working with this person you have to say something but also like telling someone that they smell or their personal hygiene it's so personal that's like well i guess there's no coming back from that because yeah. it's so devastating yeah. because like the embarrassment would turn you into like a smolder the embarrassment would turn me into a smoldering crater on the ground oh absolutely. Like, i would just be like well okay i my work my coworker said i stink so i guess i just have to um, move cities, change my name, fake my death, um, yeah. like become yeah. a whole new person. Blink like, out of existence. Blink yeah. out of existence. I'm not yeah. even going to fake the death. No. It's no. very real. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I'm going to take a bird scooter <laughs> <laughs> crash into a construction site. Yeah. Um, I think you've touched on something really important here, which is that like, if I was, for example, if if you smelled, and I know that I did that as a bit earlier, you do not smell. Andrew. Oh, thank you. Man. This is quite possibly the best smelling podcast that to ever exist probably i would say i would say it is mostly because these two uh obsess over different kinds of like scents and like how to smell good and uh they smell amazing the other day i could tell that griff had showed up in our office because the office smelled better than when i first walked what? into it and could there there is not a finer legacy yeah. To, yeah. to have than to be like man Every time this person comes to the office or is around, the place smell like they smell great and the place smells great. And you're like, man, I mean, that's, yeah. they, that, they'll write songs about you. Legends yeah. will tell. I smell good by association simply because multiple times you guys have given me <laughs> different scents yeah. that you no longer well, I'll want. Like, I, I was like, this is too masculine. Do you want this? And then I go, and then I'm finished lifting my weights and yeah. I go, yeah. <laughs> Uh, and I've started to smell so good that the other day uh, I went to Wes, our coworker. I yes, went to yeah. his birthday party, and uh, Cameron, uh, who's our cam op normally, mm -hmm. was at the same party. And I walked up, and Cameron goes, "Why do you smell good?" <laughs> and I God, went, you don't want to smell which good, which made yeah. my brain go like, "Do I normally smell yeah. bad? I don't." I, mean, I guess anyway, you just normally don't anything. My point is, we smell pretty good. Yep. Andrew, you smell good. Thank you. The, I, that was not even part of the answer that I was trying to give. But if you hypothetically started smelling bad, mm -hmm. I could tell you because you are one of my closest friends. Sure. Oh, for sure. And it yeah. would not come at, at, at it wouldn't it wouldn't come from a place of hate and you knew that I would like take you to the side and be like, "Hey buddy, I just want to let you know. You fucking reek, dude. You fucking <laughs> smell like garbage. You smell like dog shit, my friend. I was bird scootering around the streets of Palace France <laughs> and it reeked like piss and garbage and cigarettes. Ew. And it smelled much better than you do right now. Uh yo dog, uh every time you walk in the office it smells like someone microwaved a beach diaper. <laughs> I think uh maybe you should like <laughs> 
I don't know, do something about that. <laughs> Every time that you come into the office, I consider cutting off my nose. <laughs> I consider Voldemorting myself because of how fucking <laughs> dog shit you smell. <laughs> yeah, with a close personal friend, you can do that. Yeah. This is not that. This is a brand new coworker yeah. that you do not have any kind of connection with. This was like maybe a note a note yeah. oh that's so much worse is it though. well not for you for the person getting yeah but it, not for you with like cut out magazine letters <laughs> <laughs> you have it's like we're just like a little note this is hey bud you're having a stinky one and a smiley face <laughs> with one coupon for uh some deodorant no with the with the uh, rt <laughs> with the rt podcast code to get 20 percent off at harry's um, there you go there it is <laughs> yeah i um I think it's it's too personal of a thing to tell somebody that you're not friends with. And I think that leaving a note uh, would be just about the worst thing yeah. for the other person to yeah. get. So I'm going to go ahead and say, um, get them fired. <laughs> get them fired. Get them fucking fired. Go on. Plant some fucking drugs and some deodorant in their desk. Download some CP onto their computer. <laughs> <laughs> We said fired, not arrested by no, the FBI. No, we no. said fired, hey, not they, put they, on the list. They make you shower at black sites. <laughs> they make you, they no, shower you. Andrew's on to something because there's a chance that you trying to get them fired backfires into them <laughs> getting some kind of promotion, which has happened a hundred times in my life where what? I've tried to, when I was trying to quit a job once, I talked to my manager about how they weren't being a good manager and gave them advice on how to be a better manager. And this person took out a notepad and started jotting down the things that I was saying. I just wanted severance and the ability to get uh, uh, fucking unemployed. How did you? How did you office space yourself? Yeah. Like... You just do it all the time. People are so adverse to conflict that they will uh, do almost anything to get out of it. That's Again, fair. as proven by this fucking thing yeah, that we're sent to yeah, us. Yeah, right up to a podcast instead of just going, yeah. "Hey, buddy, I'm the stinky one." So Andrew has hit what I would call the key key part of this is you need to make sure that they are not coming back from this. Okay, so burned earth. Scorched yes, earth. scorched earth. Okay. I'm talking about CP is no longer enough. You need to tie them to Al-Qaeda. You need to make it, see, and I just realized what day this podcast episode is coming out on. You need to make sure that they are complicit in the tragedy that was 9-11. You need to start photoshopping them on cards, on playing cards, and giving it to Marine Corps snipers. That Hey, did you know that Ryan was friends with Osama and George Bush? It's just that fun. You need to you need to get this person off the face of the earth because I can't see another situation where you. Can Ladies and gentlemen, we have compromised to a permanent end. Ryan from accounts receivable. I don't know what to do, man. Oh, hear me out. Go, we'll do what you originally said. Mm -hmm. You. You become his best friend, mm. and then you get so close and intimate in your friendship that you can uh, go to his house and leave deodorant in his bathroom mm -hmm. and leave a nice, nice bar of Harry soap mm -hmm. in his bathroom, and then I think it'll just take care of itself. And then you never have to have any sort of uh, confrontation. I don't think I can be friends with somebody that smells like shit. Well, if you, uh, you could, you could always just like, uh, you could just go get COVID real bad. And then you never have to smell anything ever again. <laughs> I got long COVID on purpose yeah, to avoid so you, smelling yeah, my coworker. Yeah, become his friend, and then you're the you, you're the martyr who saved everyone. Huh? It is so funny that just the idea of like hey, avoiding conflict so bad that it's like okay, listen, hear me out. If I become the president of the United States, <laughs> mm -hmm. I can force him to shower. Yeah. It's just like, wait, hold on a second. I can give orders to make somebody else tell him to shower. It's like if I just become the boss of my company, I can. Order, mandate, mandate rules. Yeah. Now, now, <laughs> Andrew Roses has uh, has t has touched into something key here. Mm -hmm. If we the president of the United States, right. well, well, this is getting beeped. Okay. And, <laughs> that, no, that, in, my, in Minecraft. In, in Minecraft. Minecraft. Yeah. If Andrew Rose, no, president, no, please, <laughs> Joseph Biden, the Mall of America in Minecraft, then he can take over as the <laughs> I think there's a good 40% chance this makes it in. There is less than a percent chance that that makes it in. 
<laughs> Fuck. Yeah. Um, hear me out. I don't want to get a knock at my door at four in the morning, guys. <laughs> okay. I've, I've known people who've gotten knocks on their doors for a lot less than that. Yeah, I can't. I run a true crime show where I've talked about terrorists before. And now I can't get on a plane normally. Yeah. Getting I don't randomly, know. I get pulled aside every time I fly. I don't know if you guys have gone to the airport with me. I've gone to the airport with Funhouse tons of times. Mm -hmm. That I get searched, and I mean searched. Like taken to the back room. I get. I've ta been taken to the back room multiple Snap times. Snap of the glove. It's the beard. At the very minimum, I get uh, a pat down. That is it. I get a pat down every time I fly. Yep. I get a every pat down. Time. I get a pat down minimum. They go through my bag. They always take my stuff off to the side. I always get my hands wiped. Mm hmm. I do that too. They're I checking for bomb residue. Checking for bomb residue. I think it's because I, I downloaded the Anarchist Cookbook when I was in seventh grade. Yeah, I think it's because I say things on podcasts like. I think it's because I tweeted Greg Abbott once a week to come fight me in the Mueller HEV parking lot. But I think we've found, I think we have found. There's no trees though, you'll be fine. <laughs> I think we found the perfect way out, which is that you get on their computer. Yeah. And you start sending emails about how your coworker wants to do a very bad thing. And you then they're fired. Yeah, you get them fired. No, well, not fired again, because fired isn't enough. Okay. You're getting them taken you out. You take them out. Okay, hear me out. Mm -hmm. Maybe we're being too rash. What if? Okay. What if this isn't a hygiene issue? What if he has like a old stinky washing machine, mm. and all of his clothes just get soured in there? Ooh, that no. could be a thing. Mm. That could be a thing. Because they, 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 okay. There's a. I swear to God. There's this dude at my gym who always smells like he left his clothes in the wash for three days and then dried them without rewashing them yeah mildew mm. mildew city. yeah and i'm like maybe that's this kind of situation where it's like you, you don't know it until like heat is released from the body and it makes the oh. clothes stink. it could be that See, and he could not know but they they said specifically that it was that distinct haven't showered in a while is yeah. that different yes okay. yes well. it's it's bad yeah and it does he did say it gets worse as the, the week, week goes. goes yeah which, hold on, implies that they're not showering throughout the week. He showers once, once a, a week, week on like Friday night. So he's coming in ripe on Monday. Can you, can you, can you, um, and if this guy like works out, can you imagine like working out and then getting into bed? Disgusting. Uh, like, Maybe he's like one the of the worst thing I could possibly think of. That it, sounds disgusting. It's giving like those like minimalists who are like, if you buy a merino wool, you don't have to wash it. Uh. And it's like, but no, but then you just smell like wet sheep all the time. If you're even if you don't wash it, it's merino wool stinks. Yeah, it's fancy, but it stinks like sheep. I think I'm gonna go with my original answer. You gotta get this person fucking killed. Yeah, I agree. I think you gotta kill them. I think you no, you don't kill them. No, you gotta do you it. get them killed. Honor kill. No, that's how you, he, then you both get into Valhalla. I mean <laughs> Are you gonna leave? You go uh, to Fort yeah, yeah. You're gonna leave a a fucking samurai sword on their yeah. desk and tell them to do the honorable thing. Yeah. <laughs> Seppuku, give him, he give him a wakasashi. Yeah. I, okay, hold on. I think we've actually we've solved it. I think we. <laughs> I think there's a way to combine both. On their desk, yeah. you leave a fucking full blown katana. Yeah. Like the real thing, handcrafted in Japan, ready for war. Folded steel. Exactly the right amount of sharp on the other side of the desk. A fucking bottle of deodorant or whatever container you call them in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You leave deodorants there. And then they look at their desk and they go, what the fuck? And then you go, I can't whistle on command. You go, and they turn around and they look at you and you're holding your own katana. <laughs> and you go, you've got a choice to make. Which one is it going to be? And then you both get fired. <laughs> Well, uh, we never have to see him again, so. Yeah, and there you go. Yeah, I think yeah. that, that solves the problem, right? Yeah, we figured it yeah, out. That's, it's, it's airtight. We did it. There yeah. we go. All right. It's airtight, <laughs> like your office, which stinks like shit. So we apologize. I hope this helps. If you want uh, us to answer your own question, you can send it to rtcares at roosterteeth.com. And that way we can tell you how to do a murder. <laughs> And now it is time for my favorite segment of the week. Always on. Let's go. 
Welcome to Always On. If you've been paying attention, you know that the news is terrible, which is why we've taken some headlines and turned them into punchlines. In the middle is our friend Griff, uh, who will be our judge during the circle joke, yeah. where Andrew and I prepare some jokes and uh, joke off around you. Oh. Yeah, they said they were going to give me loads and loads of laughs. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. That Keep... joke gets better every single week. <laughs> Keep a towel handy, because these jokes are flying fast and furious <laughs> i am going to start us off this yes. week two kentucky high schoolers have been charged with making terroristic threats after participating in a new tiktok trend where you tell your teacher that you have a bomb in your backpack however the two teens are hopeful with one being quoted as saying this literally sucks but i think we're gonna be fine because we have that w whiz <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> there, there's about 50 people listening right now who have no idea what you just said. No, yeah. <laughs> who don't know what was. I think you could just leave it at there's 50, 50 people, people listening. listening right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a real TikTok trend where people uh, tell their teacher that they have a gun or a bomb in their backpack. And uh, surprisingly, these are the two first people to be charged with a crime. Uh, and. Yeah, I don't think it's I, gonna go well for them. Mm, but not the last. Uh, oh boy. Yeah. Um you're gonna get air holed by a marshal if you like <laughs> do that. They are like, oh God. Might as well just make jokes on a podcast, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> Folks. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, security in Ecuador has come undone as drug cartels exploit the banana industry to ship cocaine, which now means if you've got a banana in your pocket, people are excited to see you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, that explains why I've been eating so much banana bread recently. <laughs> fucking awesome. I feel great. Oh, I just got to mm, rub this mm. banana bread on my tongue or mm. my gums. Mm, mm, yeah. Mm. You know, it's really good for bones. What are bananas good for? Potassium. Uh, eyesight. That I think, like helps yeah. your cramps or sure. something? Sure. Sure. I just I just picture a a like you know undercover cop flicking open a switchblade, cutting into a banana. Mm -hmm. It's pure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just glad that they're getting back to the roots. You yeah. Know? NASA scientists are asking for the public's help in examining Uranus from behind this month, and not since Laika has space had that fucking dog in it, baby. <laughs> oh, now here's another joke where about 50 people don't know what the fuck I just said. Uh -huh. I read this joke to Gus uh, beforehand, <laughs> mm -hmm. and he goes, "No, that seems like because he sounds like Hank Hill. Yeah. Uh -huh. No, that seems like uh, you, you're gonna have to rely on a lot of people knowing who Laika is." <laughs> And I went, Laika, the space dog that we sent up in, in Sputnik 2 that died almost immediately. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think people know who Laika is. Yeah, we didn't. We as a ra human beings, not yeah. Yeah. the Russians sent up the dog. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. That is, that is what I meant, yes, to be yeah, clear. Okay. So um, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry for my very specific jokes this week. <laughs> It'd be like that. Uh, here's something the whole family can enjoy. Uh, 23 people were injured after a vehicle crashed into a Denny's restaurant in Texas. <laughs> Authorities thanked the driver who saved these people from almost eating Denny's. <laughs> <laughs> My God, it could have been so much worse. Talk about a grand slam. Uh, <laughs> is that them? Yeah, yeah. I've, I wouldn't know. I've never eaten at a Denny's. It was very bold of you to look at the fattest person in the room and wow. go, is that the Denny's thing? Is that wow. what they have? They don't just have grand slams. They also also have terrible service <laughs> <laughs> this past week the world lost america's uncle and leading alcoholism advocate jimmy buffett <laughs> and personally i was not a huge fan of his music but as a fat person i'm always sad to see a buffett close <laughs> holy <laughs> shit Christ. how dare you that, <laughs> that punchline brought to you in part by my very good friend Paige wesley we uh mm. collaborated on this joke mm. and i really killed tyler the, yeah we heard that we heard it through the, the audio control booth. room yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's Christ. through two doors we heard that laugh wow Folks. i don't think Folks. i'm picking the winner this year i think the audio booth just picked <laughs> it yeah it's Mondo. <laughs> Well, uh, it's Paige. It's Paige. Yeah, no, Paige but your like a joke home. also really got <laughs> yeah, me. Yeah. That that was a joke just for me, and I really enjoyed it. <sighs> this one is sure to put a lot of smiles on the faces as we close it out. Uh, <laughs> shoppers in Texas no longer have to pay sales tax on menstrual or infant products. Republican lawmakers said, we want the 12 through 15-year-old girls we're forcing to have a baby to keep more of their allowance. <laughs> I changed my mind. <laughs> 
<laughs> called it too early. From... There were still four seconds left in the game. I thought he couldn't. I could, thought he couldn't rush the yards. But ladies and gentlemen, we have to give it up to Andrew Rosas. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I thought you had it. No, I thought no. you had it in the bag with that Jimmy Buffett joke. It's okay. <laughs> Actually, can we? Can I? Can we? Can we just? Can you both? You both got it. Yeah. You both got it. We both did it. Yeah. You both got it. Hooray. And if you want to tie our jokes together, please go out and listen to some of Jimmy Buffett's music, including uh, "Get Your 15 Year Old Girlfriend Out of Here," a song where he talks about being horny for a 15 year old girl for like three minutes. That's that a, real a real song, song, by the way. Yeah. Absolutely. Go yeah. look it up, Jimmy Buffett. Uh, not right. as not as cool as we all thought he was. Margarita Ville, indeed. <laughs> Some people claim that there's a woman to blame, but, but it's I not. It's a girl. <laughs> that she's a 15 year old child. <laughs> all right. Thank you so much, and I'm sorry for besmirching the name of a great pedophile. I've been Armando Torres. <laughs> I'm Andrew Rosas. <laughs> and this has been Griff. We'll see you next week. <laughs> oh. What's up? Thanks for watching this full video version uh, on the YouTube channel. You can also listen to it wherever you want to. I'm still, that was real. I actually made it. Ooh, that was not, that wasn't supposed to happen. Hey, the best way to support us is by going to roosterteeth.com and becoming a first member. Every single first membership is like watching 600 videos on YouTube. It's, it's wild. It helps us out so much, and every time you do it, it feels like we just got a hole-in-one on whatever this game is called. Um, so go do that. It helps us out so much. Thank you. I love you. I made it in the hole. Ah!